Hey guys, and welcome to part zero of the FPS Pawn tutorial series. One of the most requested things I get about this series is how to actually import the assets and to you know handle them and set up the project and that kind of thing. So I thought I'd quickly run through how to handle uh, all of those things and, and get you up and ready for part one. So what I've done is I've downloaded the two asset packs. There's the FPS Pawn files, which will cover parts one through eight, and then the FPS Pawn files version two, which will cover uh, nine, 10, and 11. I did this because it was getting annoying having to go back and edit 10 videos at a time to, you know, update the link whenever I added new things. Anyway, let's uh, start just by opening up these zips. In fact, I'll make myself a new folder here. Let's call it FPS Porn. And then we'll just control A and drag all of these assets into this folder from both of our zips here. So we'll just drag all of those in. Uh, yep, there we go. Okay, then we have all of our assets. And as you can see, they're all different types. So if we organize them by type here, we can get a sort of a better look at what they are. We have FBX files for animations, our rigged meshes, static meshes, uh, then our textures, uh, some, uh, some other textures here, some PNGs, some TGAs, and a few sound effects. The next thing we want to do is jump into our uh, editor here. So I've just got a uh, UE4 project open up here. I'm going to right click down here in our content folder. Let's just make a new folder. Call it FPS. We'll call it FPS Porn. And then we'll open that up. Now in here is where we want to be importing all of our uh, files. Before we set up our folder structures though, uh, we can just go ahead and start importing some things. So over on the desktop where we put our folder, uh, let's start with, if we organize by type, we'll leave the 3D objects for last. Let's go and import our JPEGs, our PNGs, and our TGAs. These are all just texture files, so we'll go and import those. And we'll wait for those to come in. It'll take just a couple seconds. It'll uh, bring up this little alert here so that our normal maps are imported as normal maps, so that makes sense. And we'll just right click here, make a new folder, call this textures. Then select all of these guys and just drag them into our textures folder. Hit move here, so it actually moves all the assets. This will take a, another minute or so. You can do this other way around if you want. I just like doing it this way around just so I can sort of keep ahead of the things that I'm importing. Okay, once that's done, uh, let's, well actually we'll do it like this. We'll, we'll uh, make a new folder, call this one sound FX, open it up, then import and grab our WAV files and import these guys in. There we go. So back in our FPS porn directory, let's right click again, make a new folder, call this one meshes. And now we'll hit import and let's see here, we want to import our statics first. So we'll get our AK mesh and scroll down a little bit. We want our AWP mesh, our Glock mesh, knife mesh, and MP5 mesh. So we'll open those. It'll bring up this import window here. The defaults are fine. Uh, all these assets are set up uh, just right. So what you need to do is just import these guys, not as a skeletal mesh. These are just statics. We don't need to auto generate collision because we'll be handing that ourselves later and we'll just hit import all. So after we wait for another moment or so, in comes all of our uh, meshes here. And what we're seeing is that in our import window, uh, we've gone and included, uh, like it's generating its own materials, which we don't necessarily want. So we can grab all this and just hit delete. It'll come up with this thing saying force delete because those meshes we imported were using those uh, those materials, but it doesn't matter because they'll just revert back to their, uh, to the original sort of world grid uh, default material. And then we have all of our static meshes. So we can uh, select all these, drop them into our meshes folder, just hit move here. And the next thing we want to do is import our skeletal meshes. These are the rigged versions. So if we go for rigged, uh, that's our arm, uh, our AK rigged. We also want our arms rigged. Uh, there it is, FPS arms rigged. Uh, we also want our AWP rigged and our knife rigged, our Glock rigged, and our MP5 rigged. And I think I think that's all. Uh, yep, that will be that will be all of our skeletal meshes. So we'll open them. Uh, we want skeletal mesh. We'll import the mesh. We want to leave the skeleton at none. And down here at the bottom, we'll turn off this import textures and do not create materials. Okay, so when we hit import all, after a moment or so, in comes 
all of our skeletal meshes, and it's gone and automatically produced a physics asset and a skeleton for each of these assets. This will prepare them ready for, you know, for adding animations and that kind of thing. As you can see though, if we open up, say our AK rigged, it's gonna look exactly the same as our static mesh, but it has this skeleton tree. Like it's got uh, bones here that we can use for, for our animations going forward. And we can double check we got everything so far. So the next thing to do, uh, well actually, let's make a new folder. Uh, call it rigged meshes. And we can add all of these guys to that new folder. So we'll move them all in there. That'll take a second. Cleaning up our redirections. And then we can start importing our animations. So if I right click here, make a new folder, we'll call this one uh, animations. And open it up, hit import. So we'll grab our AK fire and our AK reload anim and we'll hit open on those. And then up here at the top, uh, so it's gonna have these options checked. We don't wanna import the mesh because we're all gonna, we're gonna be using a skeleton that we've already got imported. So we'll get our AK rigged skeleton and making sure that we're not also importing anything else or anything like that. And then just hit import. I uh, should hit import all, <laughs> that's okay. So we got the uh, AK reload, make sure it's the AK rigged skeleton, hit import, and it brings in these two animations. And we can see uh, when we open them up that we have some frames here down the bottom and you can see that there are a few moving parts. So just for the AK, the slide's just gonna come back when the, uh, when the shot is fired. And with the reload, see it's going to, it's going to drop the magazine and then reinsert one. So with that done, let's import some more. Let's go with the arms. Now there's a, quite a lot here for the arms. So we'll just grab all of them that are called uh, anim. So we'll just go arms. There's a lot here. I think they're all gonna be. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so all of our arms files here, these are all animations. So we'll hit open. And these are going to be our arms, FPS arms rigged skeleton. And we'll hit import all. So this will take a, a moment or two as well as it processes all these files. It's quite a lot of animations in this pack. It's it's, uh, it's quite robust, I think. I think I did a did a good job of putting this this together for you guys. And uh, well, once we wait for it to autosave, there we go. It's going to uh, show us all of these. So let's see what do we what can we have a look here just to make sure that they're working. Arms orp idle uh, seems to be working. How about the Glock run animation? also seems to be working. So we'll just check one more just for, yeah, just, just for posterity. You have the, the knife run animation. Okay, so our arms animations have all come in uh, perfectly fine. So let's import the rest. So we'll go with the, what's next? The AWP, AWP fire and AWP reload. Open those two. The skeleton we want is the AWP, AWP rigged skeleton, and then we'll import all. And we'll just have a quick check, make sure that it's come in properly. So we have our frames. Then we have our uh, magazine going in and out of the AWP there. So it's very good. That's working just as, uh, just as intended. And next we have the Glock. Glock fire and Glock reload. Open those. Uh, make sure it's the Glock rig skeleton. We'll import all. And we'll just open one up. Make sure that it's coming properly. So you see it's playing our frames and the animation just fine. Okay, what do we have left? So after the Glock we have the knife. Uh, right, there's no animations for the knife because it's just a just a model. Um, we'll grab our MP5 uh, reload animation because I don't think there's a fire animation for the MP5. Can't quite remember, whatever. So we'll just import that. MP5 rigged skeleton. And we'll just hit import. And we'll have a quick look here, make sure that it's working. So yeah, there's the magazine coming in and out and the slide goes back. So that is working just fine. The other thing that you'll want to do with some of these animations, uh, for example, the fire and reload animations for each of the weapons, is you want to turn them into montages so that you can affect the the timing and the speed of the animations as they play. I, uh, I do a lot with montages during the series, but people were asking me, you know, there were no montages in the download files. You have to make them yourself. You have to come to your animations folder here, right click your animation, and then up the top at create, we want to create an anim montage. So we'll just click that and it automatically makes you a montage here, which just looks like an animation, but you have a bit more functionality, a bit more freedom to be able to manipulate it in different ways. You can cut and trim them, uh, extend the length if you wanted to, the playback rates, uh, blending time, blending in and out, all these different kinds of things. And they're a bit easier to handle in blueprints. So that's, that's how you do that. That's how you make a montage. And that is how you import all of these 
uh, all of these assets. From here, uh, you're ready to start part one, which will uh, which will go into how to make the uh, the materials for all of these assets. It'll go into how to uh, you know handle these animations, how to how to build out the pawn, how to make your blueprints and things. And this is where you start. I should caution you: this is not a beginner's series. It's for at least uh, someone who's you know been using the, the engine for a while. Uh, you have to know how to you know do a bit of basic blueprint scripting how to make some base materials just how to how to handle the engine and how to move around it in a competent way and as a last thing i should also say that these assets are not for commercial use i can't stress this enough they were made by uh, me and several other people and uh we want to sort of retain ownership of these things so no commercial commercial projects they're free to use free to practice free to play with but uh you cannot monetize so I just want to make that clear here uh, in this video. But other than that, uh, you're ready to go. So after this video, check down in the description and hit up part one. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time.